Hello students. Under the topic linear equations with singular points, here we have the next problem. Find the singular points of the given equation and also determine whether they are regular singular points or not. So in order to find the singular points of this given equation, first of all we have to equate the coefficient of y double dash to be equal to 0. So what we obtain is x squared plus x negative 2 the whole squared is equal to 0 from which x squared plus x negative 2 equal to 0 and this can be factorized as x minus 1 multiplied with x plus 2 equal to 0 and therefore the singular points are x equal to 1 and x equal to negative 2. So these are the singular points of the given equation. Now next we have to determine the nature of these singular points one by one. So in order to determine the nature of the singular points at x equal to 1 and x equal to negative 2, first of all we need to rewrite the given equation in this form. That is, we have to write it in the form y double dash plus p of x y dash plus q of x y is equal to 0. In order to do that, the give, uh, in the given equation, we have to divide by x squared plus x negative 2 the whole squared throughout the equation and when we do so what we obtain is so we obtain this by dividing the given equation throughout by x squared plus x negative 2 the whole squared now this can be factorized and it can be written as y double dash plus 3 multiplied with x plus 2 divided by the factorization of this is x minus 1 x plus 2 the whole square and then y dash plus and here also x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 x plus 2 the whole squared y and so uh, further this can be by take by taking the square for each term in the denominator we can write this as so we can take the square for each terms in the denominator and we can write it in this way and we see that this and this gets cancelled and x minus 1 and here one of the x minus 1 gets cancelled and the remaining equation will be we obtain this so after cancelling the terms everything now if you see this is p of x and this is q of x so now let us check whether p of x and q of x are analytic or not so I have taken p of x and q of x and written here. First we shall check the nature of uh, the given equation uh, of the singular point at the point x equal to 1. So that is we take at x not equal to 1. So limit x tends to x not of x minus x not of p of x first we have to consider. And that will be equal to limit x tends to x not is 1 and then x minus 1 multiplied with p of x which is 3 divided by x minus 1 the whole squared multiplied with x plus 2. So that is equal to so one of the it gets cancelled and the remaining will be limit x tends to 1 3 divided by x minus 1 x plus 2. So when we apply the limits we see that uh, when we apply x equal to 1 here, so 1 minus 1 will be 0. And so the denominator turns out to be 0. So 3 by 0 will be infinity. So when uh, this ha we have obtained infinity, we can say that the point singular point x not equal to 1 is an irregular singular point. Because we know that even if one of the term is that is at the, at, uh, the p of x is not analytic. Uh, either p of x or q of x or both even if one is now is infinite then uh, um, this becomes an irregular singular point so if you want you can just try with q of x also but we can still confirm that uh, x not equal to one is an irregular singular point so therefore x equal to one is an irregular singular point now the next point that we obtained is x is equals to negative 2 
So at the point x0 equal to negative 2, let us check the nature of this point. So limit x tends to x0 of x minus x0 of p of x will be equal to limit x tends to negative 2 x minus of minus 2 will be x plus 2 and then p of x is 3 divided by x minus 1 the whole squared multiplied uh, with x plus 2. So this x plus 2 and x plus 2 gets cancelled and now when we apply the limit to this we obtain so at the place of x if I substitute negative 2 so negative 2 negative 1 the whole squared so it will be 3 divided by minus 3 the whole squared which is equal to 3 divided by 9 so that will be uh, equal to 1 by 3 so therefore this is not equal to infinity so this is a finite value so therefore p of x is analytic at the point x not equal to negative 2 then we have we are left out with q of x so we have to check for limit x tends to x not so while doing for q of x it must be x minus x not the whole squared q of x which is equal to limit x tends to x not is negative 2 and then a minus of minus 2 is plus 2 so x plus 2 the whole squared multiplied with q of x which is 1 by x plus 1 multiplied with x plus 2 the whole square so this and this term gets cancelled and when we apply the limit we get 1 by negative 2 plus 1 because uh, when we substitute x is equals to minus 2 we get negative 2 plus 1 which is equal to 1 by um, but actually this is negative x minus 1 q of x is x minus 1 so here we have q of x is 1 by x minus 1 multiplied with x plus 2 the whole squared so here we have x minus 1 so uh, this will be negative so minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 so it will be minus 1 by 3 which is again not equal to infinity so this is a finite value therefore q of x is also analytic so p of x is analytic at this point and q of x, x is also analytic at this point which implies that the point x equal to negative 2 is a regular singular point is a regular singular point so we have uh, uh, determined the nature of the singular points that we have obtained so therefore to conclude the problem is like uh, we had two uh, singular points x equal to 1 and x equal to negative 2 where x equal to 1 was an irregular singular point and x equal to negative 2 is a regular singular point so hope you have understood this problem thank you